What is up, guys? Welcome back. Today, we're going to switch it up a little bit. So today we have some Japanese. We have Future Flash and Ancient Roar. I figured that in the uh, in the heat of Paradox Rift, right, might as well try out the Japanese versions, see what we can get out of here. Hopefully our luck is as good, if not better, than the English TCG that we've been opening. So I think we're going to start out with Future Flash. Looking at this, this has the, the, the top cards in here are the Tulip and the Iron Valiant. Um, we'll save the Ancient Roar for afterwards in hopes that we can pull the Mela or the Roaring Moon. As you can see, this tear, ugh, that tear didn't want to tear. So hopefully that's a good sign because we did get these non shrink wrapped. But uh, with how difficult it was for me to even get in here, I'm hoping that that would deter, you know, any kind of um, sus activity from the supplier so here we go sorry i'm all over the place let me zoom in we're gonna go like this we're gonna tear these bad boys open we're just gonna get into it we are gonna try and get through both booster boxes for today's opening we'll see where we're at after the first one and we're still pretty far out there we go boom phoebus flittle Oh, look at that first pack magic surprisingly with the Altaria EX. Very nice. Um, oh, I almost made the mistake. We're going to we're going to swap over to the right side. I'm very superstitious now with that left side of the box. The second or third pack statistically has our secret rare. So I would like to uh, not blow that surprise early. Um, I mean, it's statistics, right? It's nothing is guaranteed. There is no definitive. We could pull it in one of these other packs, but it's going to it's going to change my course of action. And we're definitely going to start on the right side. So second pack, there was nothing. I do really like that this is broken up into three sets. So that way you can hunt for the cards that you want or the cards that you need for your master set if you're going for one in the Japanese TCG. Uh, it does it does make it a lot easier. So instead of having 265 cards, right? each of these sets look like they have about 90 um, plus or minus, you know, 10 each because you have the Raging Surf, the Ancient Roar, and Future Flash. That's... All three of those make up our Paradox Rift, which I really wish. Well, number one, I wish this pack would freaking open. What is going on here? Um, oh, God. Oh, no, what's happening? Uh, yeah, I really wish that the English TCG would adapt this um, this mindset when it comes to how they how they release the sets. It would definitely make things a lot easier for the consumer, for us, when trying to hunt for certain cards or at least finish a master set. But we all know that Pokemon is in it for the money. Dude, these packs are these packs are rough to open, uh, and this is this is something for them to uh, to make money off of, right? The longer it takes you to get the card you want, the more money they're going to get from it. It's it's business, right? And, and I get it. I get it. It's just... It's annoying. It's annoying sometimes. But here we go. Ella Kid. And nothing. All right. Oricorio. Porygon. Tinka Tink. Iron Moth. And Tulip. I think even that card, honestly, in Japanese for whatever reason, I think that one's still an expensive card, and that's just a basic trainer. So looking at it, you have your special illustration rare, special art rare, as your number one for the tulip. The second one is the full art, and then they have the third one listed like way up there as well. So I'm not, if I'm thinking correctly, there is no other tulip card in this set. It's just the art rare or the the full art. 
the special art rare, and the the trainer. So I don't I don't know what's going on. And then again, I'm looking at Pokey Data. I I like using this for a quick reference and for tracking. Um, but I know that prices are not are not accurate. It just it's unfortunate that TCG does not track the Japanese Pokemon TCG prices. So you kind of got to rely on third-party sites like eBay last sold or price charting, things like that. And I don't know. They're not the most reliable. Ooh, mouse hold. They're not the most reliable, but I mean, if that's what everybody goes off of, that that's what's going to dictate the price, right? So we are burning through this. Let's go, Onyx, Punkaboo. Ooh, the Toad Scroll, dude. That's that's beautiful. That is a beautiful card. It's almost like end of the world type vibes. I know those are trees in the background, but it almost like at a quick glance looks like a, a a demolished earth, right? You know, from some some apocalyptic movie, and those are just like giant things scouring the earth. It's a quick insight into how my mind works when I first looked at that Pokemon card. <laughs> a little dark, but you know it is what it is. But that's awesome, man. First art rare from the box. The second one right after? Let's go! We have pulled this in English. This is probably one of the best art rares in the set. Um, and I'm super stoked that we pulled that. And so now we have it in both English and Japanese. Gorgeous card. Beautiful artwork. Dude fits right in there at the ice cream shop. Gotta love it. Man, dude, this, so this is the last pack on the right side. We heating up back to back. Can we go for three in a row? Is that too optimistic? Punkaboo. What's that? Vanilla Lux? Vanilla Ice? I don't remember. Three in a row. There's the Blitzel. Dude, we're on fire. Absolute fire. Iron Bundle. See you later, buddy. Let's go. The Blitzel has been secured. Dude, that's... Whew. I don't know how much more luck we got after that, guys. We're going to end up getting... I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even want to finish that sentence. <laughs> All right. I did flip this stack in hopes that if the secret rare is, you know, in the first one or two or two or three on the left side, that, we, uh, that we'll pull it towards the end. Oh, Steelix Hollow and a Tattoo Geary. That is one of the downsides to these these Japanese boxes is that like your one secret rare is I think it's guaranteed, right? But once you pull it, you pretty much know that like the rest of your box is gonna be a wash. Or that like the best you could pull is an art rare. Where in like English, you know, we've seen it many times over. Um, there is the potential to get multiple secret rares in a box. It's not super common, but it's common enough to where you can still hope for it. Oh, there it is. There's our secret rare. And it's going to be a full art. Which one is it? <sighs> All right, let's go. Ah, oh, it's the Toxtricity. It's a cool card. Don't get me wrong. But there's just so many better cards in this set. That's It's cool. It's cool. I'm still disappointed, as you can tell. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, the Toxtricity EX is our secret rare. Um, sitting at number 12 right now in the price-wise range. was really hoping for a tulip, but those three back-to-back -back art rares. Yeah, I, I knew. I knew. I knew how this was going to play out. So let's see, let's see what else we can get out of here, guys. Um, I'm I'm gonna assume at least one more EX, but probably not much more than that. <clears throat> Unkaboo, Porygon, Surskit, Catcher, Tatsugiri. All right, Vanilla Tinkatink, Swablu, 
Hey, there we go. Aegis slash EX. And Rourke. So, I mean, <clears throat> minus the pack in my hand, there's five more packs still sitting to the side. So, let's see. Maybe one more art rare? Possibly. I'm going to find out. Hmm. Plenty of... I say plenty of packs. There's only, th only three left in here. Plenty of packs, though. Plenty of opportunities. Let's go. And nothing. All right. Well, maybe we can do a little booster box battle. We'll see. Uh, we'll see who's got the better pulls at the end. And if it's a wash, I'm going to ask you guys to let me know uh, which one you think won personally based off of what was pulled. Lip bug, Phoebus. Oh, the toxicity strikes again. All right. I think that's our first textured EX from this box. So that's pretty decent. Well, I get first textured non full art EX. But here we go, guys. Last pack of the Future Flash booster box. Mouse. That's not mouse hold. I don't remember. I don't remember his name. And the duster to end that off. All right, let's take a quick little. So let's see, one textured EX, non full art, three art rares. So we got three EXs, one textured EX, our three art rares here, and our secret rare, which was the full art Toxtricity. Not bad, honestly, overall. Um, here's hoping that this box can do a little bit better. Looking at some of the cards in here and where they're sitting, dude, that Mela special art rare, secret art rare, definitely number one slot. Roaring Moon right behind it. Uh, the hyper rare roaring moon sitting at number three professor sada's vitality sitting at four full art mel is at five dude plenty plenty of good cards in this set let's see how this one goes oh we don't have that in english maractus making an appearance charcadet and the latios Oh, that's pretty solid. I like that. Horsey, Pan Sage, Knackley, Crobat, and the Mella. Wismer. Dwebble. Oh, I almost said Crustle. The Wiglet. And... Oh, Sandy Shocks. Let's go. And a Veluza. Alright, first EX. First EX of the box is the Sandy Shocks, which isn't bad. Yeah, Mask. Spinda. Trubbish. Snorlax Doll. And a Pan Sage. Hey, I'm telling you, I play all the games, dude. <laughs> it's like as soon as I look at a card that's not written in English, I can't remember the name of it. I, I don't know what it is, guys. Purloin, Mianfu, Numo, Brute Bonnet, and a Garbodor. Rustle, Wimpod, Knackley. Oh. Oh, the Cofferigus. Very nice. And a Screamtail. We're flying through these guys. Flying through these packs. Loud Dread. Clobopus? I don't think that's in our set either. Wug Trio. And... Is it Mianfu? Mianxiao to Mianfu? 
So it looks like we are down to the last couple packs on the right side. This is where all the heat started coming from in that last box. So let's see how this one how this one performs. And Garnicle is our hollow out of there. Zubat, Cedra, Magby. Uh, what's that? Slith Slitherwing? Slitherwing. All right. Bound Sweet. Golbat. I don't even remember what that one is, dude. Uh, new legendaries weren't that impressive. I, I'm going to be honest, I didn't really commit them to memory. Um, yeah, wasn't 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 really too impressed with those. Woobat, Trubbish. Oh, the Loudred Art Rare. That's that's a vibrant card, dude. That's pretty solid. That's I like that. I like that a lot. All right, guys, that was the left side of the box. We're gonna take this. We're gonna flip the stack. And we're going to start from the bottom of the left side. Knackley, Zubat, Numo, Vest, and I can't remember his name. <sighs> so far, dude, this box is not, is not cutting it, man. We need to pick it up. Screamtail and an X Cloud. We've got two EXs and one art rare so far from this box, guys. Let's see. Oh, there's another EX. Oh, and it's the Roaring Moon. Let's go. That's that's pretty cool card. That's tough. Is it a sign? Are we gonna pull? Some more Roaring Moons in our near future. I really hope so. We haven't we haven't pulled well, we pulled the gold one in English. Uh the hyper rare. Oh, here's another art rare. Oh what? I forgot that this is not a promo in the Japanese set. The Scream Tail. That's that's cool. I I do really like this card. It's nice that it's incorporated into the set. Um, it is. It's interesting that it's a promo for us and it's not for them. I mean, and that, that that goes for pretty much all of our promos, right? All of our promos are in their sets most of the time. All right, Horsey, Lipard, Numo, oh the Kingdra, and that Geezer. So, two art rares, three EXs, and it's probably like seven packs left. Cedra, Yamask, yeah Nimble, and nothing in that one. So far, we're still one art rare behind the other box, one textured EX, and our seeker rare. Rustle. Oh, there's our there's our other EX. The Armor Rouge. Okay. Alright. Like I said before, you know, Cerule Edge is cooler, but it is what it is. That's the second time Armor Rouge has had a uh an EX or higher card. He had one in Paldea Evolved, didn't he? Or he's like hiding in the street. And nothing in that one. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that was Paldea Evolved. I wouldn't know because we couldn't pull anything from that set. So y'all let me know down below if, he, if that is the set that he's from. If that's the card that I'm thinking of. Wismer, Lipard, Numel, Hollow, Morpeko, and a Crobat. I'm getting a little worried guys we're down to three packs left three packs we have not pulled a secret rare 
I don't know if the number of art rares is uh, recommended or if that's what you will actually get, but we're about to find out. Dwebble, Charcadet. There we go. Asking you shall receive art rare with that blue at the bottom. I don't know what it is. Let's show it. Oh, what did I say? Slitherwing earlier? Is that what that geezer is? The Slither. That's pretty cool. That's that is pretty solid. And then we got our capsule back there. That's it's not as intricate as most of the other ones, right? He's he kind of he's kind of the foreground and takes up most of it, but it's still pretty solid. I'd give it a six out of ten. <laughs> a six out of ten, the for sure. All right, guys, two packs left. Two packs. Maractus, live part, not live part. Uh, brain fart. What is it? Huh? Furloin. Exactly. Not. Oh, whoa. All right, guys. Mm. Oh, I didn't miss any. Let me, let me look around real quick. I got, we got one pack left. I definitely opened all the packs minus this one. So this will be the last pack of today's opening. If a secret rare is guaranteed, which I don't think it is, it would be in here. So before we open this, I appreciate all you. If you like what you saw, please leave a little like on the video. Consider subscribing, share with a friend. Um, our next subscriber goal is 250 subscribers and we can't get there without you guys. So I appreciate all you. Let's crack into this last pack. Hopefully there is a secret rare in here. The only one way to find out, right? Here we go. Nimble. Wiglet. Uh, knackle stack. There it is, dude. There it is. We have number 90. I have no idea what this is going to be. I don't even remember which set I'm looking at right now. Oh my God. No shot. No shot, dude. Whoa, let's go. <laughs> the number two card of the set has been pulled. Roaring Moon Special Art Rare. Let's freaking go, dude. If you didn't watch to the end, you missed out. You missed out. For those of you that did stick with us, I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.